Hi everyone, it is Shamila here and today I just want to share with you a quick make. It's not going to take, well it shouldn't take very long. So let us go to our burger which is the three lines at the top there and open up our canvas so that we can start creating. Um, and then I want to go to my shapes because I want to make a little tag. Uh, design space if you are a subscriber you have access to these tags and I particularly like this one just going to change the color I don't like black to work with it's not good for my eyes I don't feel comfortable so I always change it to gray which is a little bit easier on my eye so there's my tag I'm just dragging it to enlarge it a little bit and I want a little hole in my tag so I'm going to choose the circle I'm going to make my circle a little bit smaller by dragging that little box there and if you see this arrow whoops, that is the little arrow I'll just make it bigger I'll move it that's the little arrow that allows you to this X in the middle allows you to move your your design from one space to another sometimes when it's too small you can't see that X so I always enlarge it and then I make it a little bit smaller and I try to move it in that way right let's see and then if I have trouble doing that um, I move it as close as I can make the size the size I want it place it more or less by using this the bigger item so I will move the bigger item instead of struggling with the small item I don't know if anybody else does that but that's how I do it I select all at the top here and now I'm going to align that and center that little dot horizontally now you can have you can do one of two things you can just make it a cut or if you select all you can <coughs> sorry use the slice option here and you can slice that out and your screen will flash and once you have that done you'll see that it's been removed so let's just delete that because we don't need it now I want to do one of two things I want to cut this so under operations you will see this is a tag and it is a basic cut that's fine now I want to put some text in there so let's go to text when this is highlighted in blue you can make changes to it so if I say happy I can now click away from it and these little boxes will come around it so that I know I can now make changes so you can turn it if the arrow looks like that you can stretch it if you hold on any of the four corners for example so I want to change my font because I want something a little bit cuter so let's see what we have here that says announcement let's try it that's a nice bold one so I want that happy I'm just gonna slide it down to size I want that happy to fit somewhere around here and I'm taking the easy way out I'm just duplicating it there's a plus button at the top here on the right hand side and then I'm going to double click in there which will give me the opportunity to to write in happy holidays and it is the same font like the other one that's just something I do you don't have to do it if you want to go the long way please by all means do it so I'm going to select those two and I'm going to align those and I'm going to say center horizontally so that they are centered and then I'm selecting it again and I'm going to group it the group button is this little icon over here on the right hand side and the reason why I'm grouping it is because now I can move it around as much as I want to but I don't want to cut that I want to use my pen and I've changed under the operation I changed from basic cut to pen but I also want to make it in red so let's just find I'm going to do that in red I've got 
going to move it more to the center of the page I've got a white tag with red now that looks a little bit boring so I'm going to go under my images to find something so I'm going to look for a Christmas tree and I like this one I'm not even going to look for very long because I really like that one and so this is going to be a cut file where are you okay it ended up somewhere over there right clearly it is way too big for my tag so I'm going to use that arrow and drag it down so that it can fit and let's just see I want it to fit snugly right in the middle there between the H see it just fits perfectly now when I go to make it what's going to happen is these are all going to go onto separate pages because they are all different colors now you need to tell design space that you want them all to be held together you want them all to stay together and with because we have that I'm going to select all here at the top and say attach now that is what a paper clip does it holds everything together and so when you tell design space you want to attach everything when you go to make it it will put everything together so that's the one tag then I'm going to do another one so I'm just going to duplicate this so we don't have to go through the whole process again and at the bottom because this was attached I'm going to detach it so that everything will be separate again and this is still a basic cut now I want to make this into a pen again so I'm choosing the pen option and here I want to make that tree green so let's choose a dark green and I'm going to select it all once again and attach so that my uh, that design space knows that I want that tree and the words exactly where it is I'm going to send this to make it now and then what I will do is I will post pictures of the finished tag or of both tags for you so you can see how easy it is just to by changing something from a cut file to a pen file you can create something beautiful now for this one I also want a backing on there because remember this is going to cut out so I'm going to duplicate that one again and then I'm going to detach it and I'm going to remove all the I'm taking the tree away I'm taking the words away so this is going to be just a plain I'm going to make that green it's just going to be a plain green tag and what will happen is if I just arrange this and send it backwards send it back what will happen is if this is behind there that green of the tag will show through I hope that makes sense but the finished one will show you exactly what I mean so let's go make it and show you what's going to happen so I'm doing it on a mat and I'm confirming and it has put both those tags on the mat um, and if I go continue oh, it will help if my machine is on there we go it's reading the maker 3 now so I am gonna go with heavy cardstock and now it's telling me to load my red pin and my fine point blade I'm going to put my cut on more and I will be back with rudely cut off there when I said I will be back with the next step is what was supposed to be said so here we've got our green tag and I actually have decided to make mine a silver glitter one it's the a woman's prerogative to change your mind isn't it so one of the reasons is I don't have green cardstock with me right now I've got silver so we're going to go with silver and so if we say continue 
all go through the same process. Um, let's go. There we go. It's saying connect your maker. I'm also going to browse my materials because I need to find that um, that glitter cardstock. Now, at, if you don't know, at the top here you have an option with all materials. You've got your favorites that you have tagged as favorites and you have compatible. So those are three different options here. Many people don't realize about it. But what I always do is I just put in cardstock if I know I'm using cardstock. And in here I will just type in a keyword like glitter. And that just gives me a shorter list to look for something. So I'm going to say glitter cardstock. I'm going to say done. And I know my glitter cardstock is fairly thick. I'm going to choose the more option and it will cut. All right. Um, once that is done, I am going to assemble my, my um, cards or my tags and I'll, I'll post a picture together um, with the link to this video so you can see how they turned out. Besides that, we also remember we've also got that little tree that we cut out. The negative of the one tag, the first tag. And with that, you can make another tag. Why not? So, I have already cut that. So, let me just cancel this and say yes. And cancel. So, I am going to cut. Let me see. I've got the tree. I need another tag. And so, let's just cut another tag. And... Put a word on it or what let's see yeah why not so let's just cut some text um, oh, it's still on announcement so I can say with love that's a little bit too far apart so I'm going to do them as two separates Away. Oh, design space is a bit slow today. Okay, there we go. We're back on track. So I'm going to make my width a little bit smaller. And why not? Let's put a little heart in there where it says love. I'm going to put my heart there okay so I'm gonna do that in a pen and my brain is just let's change that to gray again so we can see what we're doing move that just move this out of the way for one second going to duplicate that because I want to make the owl with that and I'm going to bring this down so let me just attach those two quickly that's what I'll do I'm going to attach these two so that if I need to move it it's not going to be an issue Making that into a pin as well. Making my heart slightly smaller so that it fits in there. And I'm going to cut that out. And then this. Make that out.
and then we're going to select all of those align it and align at the bottom maybe that must be a capital what do you say oh gosh what am i doing sorry uh, Trying to make them all look more or less even. See a line at the bottom. There we go. So the heart is a cut, and I'm going to group that so it moves together as a single thing. And let me just detach that because I want to move the word with. Um, okay, that's okay. Select all and attach. So let's see if this is going to work. You'll see that my thingy says multiples. I'm working on a mat and so it says a pin and a basic cut so let's continue I'm going to put my material on a mat and I'm going to say heavy cardstock because it is heavy cardstock one more and it says load black pen I did not choose a pen color but you can tell you can put any pen into it um it's a white card with a white tree um let me just think you've got words so maybe i'll just choose a plain black card pen right let's do this okay loading the map Reading the mat to see exactly what it needs to do. Detecting the pen and now it's drawing. And I'm not sure if I remember to say cut the heart, but we'll see what happens. Because <laughs> remember, you need to tell Design Space what you want it to do. It's not going to know. Everything defaults to a basic cut. That's one thing that you have to remember. So if you don't change the option under operations, it is not going to know that you want it to cut or draw or foil, etc. Oh, and I chose heavy card stock and I changed my mind. I put in a lighter card. Um, it should be fine though. All done. Beautifully written and cut. And I will post pictures together with a link to this video so that you can hopefully replicate what I've done. I hope this was informative. I hope it's helpful. And I hope to see you guys soon. Until next time.